to look into my father's eye In a happy home I was a king, I had a golden throne Those days are gone Now the memories on the wall Still hear the sounds From places where I was born Across the blue lake That's where I had my first heartbreak I still remember how it all changed My father said hey, Don't you worry, don't you worry, child See, heaven's got a plan for you hey, Don't you worry, don't you worry Taking the bail yeah. out. Who's in charge of taking the bail out? We've got to choose. I know. Yeah. Girls. <laughs> 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 she trusts George more than I. I trust George. <laughs> Where's George? Where's George? In the toilet. George. Oh, oh, can't be trusted. She's oh. not funny. Oh. Trust her. Oh. So you say? <laughs> <laughs> oh, <laughs> she's really clumsy. Yeah. So I'll pull yeah. her off her hair now. She's been blown. She's already not the blue. She's not the blue. She's not the blue. She's not the blue. She's not the
Joint. I'll edit. I'll edit you out. Don't worry. <laughs> Jack and Lucy have made to marry. So, 
In giving them your best wishes and welcoming Jack into your family, please take your daughter's left hand and pass it into the left hand of Jack for safety. <laughs> Marriage joins two people who trust the love that they have found. It is a partnership in which each of you can grow while sharing in the development of the other. And it is a statement to all of those around you that you have found the love, support and friendship that you want to share with each other for the rest of your lives. And today you will affirm that relationship by offering each other the security that comes from legally binding vows, sincerely made and faithfully kept. <laughs> It is at this point that I must ask if any person present knows of any just cause or lawful impediment as to why this marriage should not take place, then they should declare it now. Sorry, I'm the five stone. I'm the five stone count. of all others. It is a solemn union to provide the love, friendship, help and comfort that each of you will have for the other, both in times of joy and in times of sorrow. So Jack and Lucy, before you are joined together in matrimony, I have to remind you of the solemn and binding character of the vows you are about to make. They are not to be entered into lightly, nor are they lightly to be set aside. I have to ask each of you in turn to declare solemnly and truthfully that, to the best of your knowledge and belief, there is no lawful reason why we should not be joined together in marriage. So, Jack, you can please repeat after me. I declare that. I declare that. I know of no legal reason. I know of no legal reason. Why I, Jack Todd Fogarty, why I, Jack Todd Fogarty, may not be joined in marriage. May not be joined in marriage to Lucy no. Elizabeth Kate Wigmore to Liz Lucy <laughs> <laughs> Present. I call upon these persons here present to witness the time, to witness the eye, 
Lucy Elizabeth Kate Wigmore. Lucy Elizabeth Kate Wigmore. Do take me. Do take me. Jack Todd Fogarty. Jack Todd Fogarty. To be my lawful wedded husband. To be my lawful wedded husband. Thank you. Please be seated. <coughs>
I'm sure you will have a fabulous afternoon here at Southern Young Celebration. So all it makes me to do, please, is ask you to stand. Sure you shake them. Okay, thank you. Thank you, my lovelies. Got a little friend, Sam.
I'm so proud of our Lulu. I know that I speak on behalf of Liz and the rest of our family. Yeah. And I say how proud we are today to see Lucy looking so beautiful in her wedding dress. It was a special moment in my life looking her down the aisle. <laughs> and I would like to, and I think you would agree that Primark does a good wedding. Are you happy? <laughs> She has left home a few times, but always seems to come back. <laughs> First she left to buy her flat, came back when she rented it so she could go to Australia, came back from Aussie and moved back in for a while, then left again to go to Oz with Jack. There's a thing there, isn't there? there's a thing. Moved in again with Jack to save money to buy their house. She is now Mrs Fogarty and gone forever. Oh, and to make sure we okay. get the lot. <laughs> <laughs> We've done that with Lou Sarah, anyway. Are you more hitting Jack? It's alright, it's alright. I won't mention the lotion as you won't go away. <laughs> I'm under street. Oh, sorry. Most father of the bride's speeches include a few embarrassing moments of Lucy blowing up. I'm under strict orders not to mention her first attempt at drinking a very full glass of squash. <laughs> you want to do it, Lulu? What are you doing? No, no. Come on. Drink, drink, drink. She was on her knees, with a little blonde curly hair, <laughs> and she blew. There's <laughs> 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 an obvious joke in there somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> Jack Swain. Not, <laughs> not to mention anything about the fishnet tights and the bracelet incident. <laughs> if you please have more info if needed. So she had to deal with her in the, in the long term life. When she was born, I was quite shocked how happy she was. <laughs> <laughs> When she was first handed to me, until I realised she the nurse had given to me her to me upside down. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>
fellas. <laughs> Marvel. 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 Marvel.
saying I'll keep this short and sweet, just yeah. like my wife. Oh. Yeah. 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 I truly really like to start by saying how beautiful Lucy looks today. Yes. And yes. what an amazing job she has done for today. John, thank you for kind words. And also for going first. Now there's a few toasts coming up, so please make the glasses full. Ladies and gentlemen, family and friends, on behalf of my wife and I, well, Paul. thank you for all coming to our special day. It means so much to us that you're all able to share this special day with us. As much as, we, as, as most of you know, my brother has struggled a very long way to come here today, all the way from Canada. Go on, boy! Yeah. I'm going to say to Lizzie yesterday that it's amazing how far some people will travel for a free meal. <laughs> 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 Today wouldn't have come, so wouldn't have come, wouldn't have come together you without you all. The help of the parents. So I'd like to show our gratitude to them. John and Liz, I know traditionally I should be thanking you for welcoming me to the family. But you've been so welcoming from day one that I felt like part of the family since that day. That's lovely. And also, thank you for raising such an intelligent, beautiful, considerate, and on occasion stubborn daughter. <laughs> <laughs> I promise I will do my all to make her happy. Oh, yeah, wow. <laughs> to my parents, I want to congratulate you on raising such a... <laughs> <laughs> Seriously, I am so proud to have such amazing, wonderful parents like yourselves. And thank you for making me the man I am today. I'd like to make a toast to the parents. I'm sure everyone will agree that Lucy's bride bridesmaids Wonderful today. Yeah. I also want to thank them for the help and support in the lead up to today and for, cut, for calming Lucy's nerves over the past 48 yeah, hours. Well <laughs> Two bridesmaids. Yeah. Two the bridesmaids. I'd also like to thank. My best men, Rory and James. They really have made everything so big and done so much to lead up to this day. I love you! Now it's an unwritten rule that no man should outshine the groom on his wedding day. I'd like to thank you both for that. There's a punch line. <laughs> for for adhering to that. <laughs> Not just today, but in general. <laughs> a toast to the best men. Yeah. Tradition dictates that I should. 
I should tell you all some embarrassing stories about Lucy. However, <laughs> <laughs> Lucy dictates that I do no such thing. <laughs> so, on that note, I leave you in the capable hands, or maybe not so capable hands, of my two best friends. Two best friends. But what's one last thing? <laughs> One last thing, a toast to my beautiful wife. You don't know me, I'm Rory, one of the best men, but if that's really a good ball to me, I need to take it out a bit. Loud up, bro. Loud up. 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 It's truly impossible to praise a groom too highly. In fact, while I was writing this speech, Jack, I found it impossible to praise you at all. <laughs> they say that the best man's speech is the worst five minutes of the groom's day. <laughs> but if wise words five minutes, they come late tonight. <laughs> 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 All enjoyed what has been a brilliant wedding celebration, but unfortunately, every silver line has a cloud, so I won't be in there. I've known Jack for over 20 years, and we've pretty much been best friends since day one. I always remember you and Jenny came to the primary school, Chief Common, you came in, you said hello. The teacher asked you, what was your favourite team? You said Chelsea. No. Which of course I support it too. So I got up, give it a little cheer, give it all that, and I got big trouble, first attention. So cheers for that, bro. <laughs> when, Jack, when Jack first asked me to be the best man, I mean, I was pretty scared, pretty worried. Who wants to stand up in front of all you lot and give a little speech? But Jack was, to be fair to him, he was good. Like, he went out, sat down, we spoke about it, and he promised that if I do a good job today, he'd be the best man his next wedding. I mean, look here. He's handsome, he's kind, he's charming. <laughs> Wait for it. What was that sound? Cut me down right. I hope you enjoyed your stag do. He was pretty one good looking nun. It was meant to bring her in head valve, but someone forgot it. Not pointing any fingers. <laughs> For all the boys that came, I'd like to say a big thank you. Those that didn't, <coughs> on the table over there. <laughs> but if anyone would like to know the gory details, if you'd like to go and see my mate Don over there. <laughs> Jack, 
You are one of my best friends in the world. You are really a top bloke who's just married an absolute gem of a girl. I couldn't be happy for you. Seriously. Round of applause for that. Uh, Lucy, I must say, it was absolutely amazing today. Ah, uh, Jack. <laughs> and I've never seen Jack happier than my kid, honestly. So it's always glass, to the beautiful quiet, to Lucy. Lucy, back in a minute, Rosa. Honestly, I'll finish up now because she starts to be a rule star. I will see you too. Standing today, I can honestly see, and I'm sure everyone else can, that you've got many, many years of happiness together. So it's always a glass like for Mr. Oh. and Mrs. Foggy. Good afternoon, is it good afternoon? Yeah. Good afternoon everyone. Good day. For those who don't know me, I'm James, one of Jack's, you know, friends. Still uh, <laughs> Today I have the honour and pleasure of being one of his best best men and delivering a wonderful speech. <laughs> Can I just start by thanking everyone here today, you know, coming, witnessing Jack and Lucy becoming a full. Everyone will agree, yeah. You use it up over there. The bridesmaids, get shout out. Yeah, bridesmaids, brilliant today. Lucy, new year. That's for Jack. Well, what can I say? Let's see what we can do. Slightly pissed off that you're popping me out for those. <laughs> Of course, it is a great honour to be asked to be the best man, but from the moment Jack asked me, it was clear that the best man speech would be the hardest part of the day. So I did what most men do best, and look on the internet for stuff. There are more interesting things to find on the internet. Women will agree with that. So yeah, I think we get very far. But I need to come across something. I come across something of do's or don'ts. You do say and don't say. And I've, I've, I've sort of written it up. I've, I've done the book and written it up. And then I found the do's and don'ts. So you don't talk about your ex-girlfriends. Shortest. Sure that one off. You don't swear. Fuck. Fuck. <laughs> Don't tell rude jokes. Is it ten minutes before the past ten? Find out as well. You do mostly tell positive stories about the room. There ain't none. Then I'm thinking about doing my research. <clears throat> I thought I should give Jack a few tips to start off married life. <laughs> being, being in a perfect relationship. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I thought I'd be perfect for the job, Jack. So, so remember these things. From now on, do what Lucy says. <laughs> you want number two, Jack? So come here, girl. <laughs> The best way to remember your anniversary. You only forget it once, mate. <laughs> oh, I <don't> know. <laughs> <laughs> once, and that's it, remember it. Remember that day, like, like <laughs> And most importantly, happy wife means happy love. Yeah. 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 
So where do I start with my best friend Jack? Me and Jack met at school, secondary school, in year seven. There was always a few memories that stuck out for me, but the one where me, Rory, Jack, we bumped off stalls for the first time. <laughs> Jack thought it would be a good idea to ring up and pretend that he was my mum. <laughs> He's a decent bloke. He's, there's nothing false about him. He's, he's got good values. He cares about people around him. He's a, he's a top bloke. You are a top bloke, Jack. Yeah. It was. I'm reading, but you know, this means that to me. It was very clear how Jack spoke about Lucy and how in love he was. After Lucy and Jack decide to become an item, they decided to go on their travels through Australia, which I think was the foundation of their relationship and the reason why I'm stood here today. Lucy has kept Jack on the straight and narrow. <laughs> <laughs> he, is, he has made my best friend. He's a great man he is today. He's sort of in the spread <laughs> What he's meant to be, he's meant to be. And Jack and Lucy are meant to be together. Seriously. They're a great loving couple and they bring out the best in each other. I'm not supposed to swear either, am I? No, that's not. Sorry, Jim. Yeah, no. Jack, you found a good one there, mate. You've done well. Hello, Jim. Shut up, Jack. Hit this back there. So here we are, ladies and gentlemen. Jack and Lucy. Married for better, for worse. It's quite appropriate, because Jack, you can... <laughs> Lucy, you can have any worse. <laughs> <laughs> On a more serious note, me and Jack have had some amazing times together, and I'm sure we will continue to have more in the future. You've been more like a brother to me, you have, really is. And it's been a real privilege to be your best friend today. I know how much Lucy means to you, and I know that you'll always be there for her. I know that you'll make a fantastic husband, and I know you'll make her happy for years to come. I'm so proud of you both. And so, it gives me great pleasure, <laughs> immense pleasure, for everyone to stand, come on, Henry, I'm already there, for Jack and Lucy. Jack and Lucy.
waking up to ash and dust To wipe my brow and I sweat my rust Breathing in the chemicals oh. Breaking in the shape of Then checking out all the prison bars So this is it, the apocalypse Oh, I'm waking up, I feel it in my bones Enough to make my systems blow Welcome to the new age, to the new age Welcome to the new age, to the new age oh, 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 oh. I'm radioactive, radioactive oh. That it's a revolution, I suppose We'll paint it red to fit right in Oh, I'm breaking in, then shaping up Then checking out all the prison bars So this is it, the apocalypse Oh, I'm I'm still remember the taste of my love Still smile from the tree. Thank you. Oh, oh, it's 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 